So right here, what we see on the screen is the um, user login. So for the on on the EGV machines, not oh sorry, not only EGVs but all our other press base, we can I, we can make a user profile and give permission which user can do what. So for example, um, I'm gonna log myself in, which um, on my setting I have myself be able to bend the part but never be able to save the part. Okay, so that you, made that, you made that just now uh, yeah. to to show an example. Yeah, to yep. show an example. Okay, so. Okay. On the EGV series, we have a camera at the bottom. Okay. Here. Wait, see here. All right. So once we are at the dog in screen, I can stand up, stand in front of him. And because it re the camera recognizes <laughs> my face, I am now just locked in. That is cool. I will start the machine. I'll go to the setup. I'll open and um, close the foot pedal over there. Okay. So right right now, what I'm doing is I'm origining the machine. So this should be done like the first thing in the morning whenever you turn the machine on. Oh, okay. But at the same time, if you do it once a day, that's that's enough. Okay. So it's really you're just basically doing a soft reboot of the machine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Now that's done. That was like 10 seconds to do wow, the yeah. origin and that's mm -hmm. that's all good. We are ready to do the tool change. We are ready to bend. Okay. So good. coming back to the control, excuse me. Yeah. So let's say our um, previous part that we already bent. So let's say um, I wanted to make, um, I was bending then in this part, I tried to make an adjustment, but because my user profile indicates me that I am not allowed to save, uh, the saving icon is all grayed out. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but I mean, you, you don't want maybe a, uh, a brand new employee exactly. doing some kind of uh, work inside that machine that you, exactly. you, that's you, the, you don't need to have done. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole purpose of it. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, like, like Dave said, um, this preference is more for the new operators, so yeah. we don't want the new operators to adjust, do, make a new wing adjustment that's already perfect. Yeah. But once that person, the operator becomes more familiar with this machine, you mm -hmm. can start giving him more permission, more permission, until he gets the full permission. Yeah, okay. And also, they're kind of expensive to replace. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So um, one thing that um, I want to show is also the running info. This running info here, the machine will um, mem remember or save um, whatever the whatever he did for, oh, I see. for yeah. one year. Yeah. Running info, the program history. Yeah. If someone was um, it, like this part, if I was logged in, I'll have my name under person in charge. Okay. How many I planned? How many result? and also the start time, end time, the actual working time, auto running time, also the detail of the part. The part that I was bending was a SCCC um, 0 .030, 0 0.0394 inch thick, um, 18, 18 by 12. Wow. Uh, and all, it also indicates you how so many strokes it did. About that job. Yes, this is gonna be all stored. And also the alarm histories. Yeah. So let's say there's okay. a there was an operator that had to do 30 part in this time frame, but only finished 20 part. Yeah. In that case, we can come here at the program and see what what, what kind of alarm was going on. Great for management. Yeah. Yes. If there was a critical um, alarm that was preventing him from bending apart, we know why he was not able to bend apart, and we know what is causing it. So we yeah. can. We can have our service, if it's a service technical issue, we can, we can call the um, Amada service to fix the problem or at least know what caused it. Or maybe a, a half hour of training with the new operator, whatever, yes. whatever the answer is. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And also the start count, it will remember like, how many of the time we use these different materials and the thicknesses as well. Okay. Using state, how many strokes total once um, after we install this machine and also the maintenance as well on the maintenance we can set the intervals for example uh, whenever we turn on the machine yeah. we can have the machine window pop up saying hey it's time for maintenance please hit the start button okay what it's gonna do is 
um, there, there's actual scraper in the ATC unit just to clean the dive holders. Oh, wow. Yep. All right. We did come in. And you can let the machine do that manually, or yeah. we can tell the machine to, yeah, again, bring, pop up that window to let the operator hit start button so the ATC unit can bring the scraper, clean up the dive folder, and go back. Okay. And we can change that interval to every two weeks or every one week. Depending on what yep. duty cycle it's on and yes. yeah. how, okay. how clean the environment is. Sure. Um, all those maintenance, running, program history, alarm history, yeah. that can be exported using a um, USB port on the side. Oh, cool. Yes. All right, so you can just bring that, put it back to somebody's desk in the and back office and, yes, and see. Yeah. Yep. And it will be okay. exported as an Excel file so anyone can open it. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Yeah. Also, the users user saying, let me. We'll blur that yeah, part out. Thank we'll, you. We'll pixelate that out. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> so on the user management, yeah. for my name, we had four heavyweight only savings. So that's yeah. why I was not able to save the part. Okay. But also at the same time, whenever I'm, I'm locked in, I can also change the language of the screen as well. Ah. So if I was more comfortable speaking Spanish, for example, mm -hmm. then I can have my have the entire screen oh, yeah. in Spanish. Yeah. And this, this language setting is going to be tied into the, um, to the user itself. So whenever that user logs out, it will come back to English. And whenever he logs in again, it will come back, wow. it will bring up the Spanish as well. Okay. Also with the permission. Yeah. That is awesome. Clear. A lot of that. languages supported. Yes, I think it was like 26 different languages. Wow. So, yeah. This is a very nice feature as well. All right. Mm, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Yusu. Thank it's you. It's been wonderful spending time with you on this great piece of machinery here. And uh, we thank you for your time. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay.